हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अंकुश गुप्ता फैकल्टी एट द गेट कोच नाउ जैसा आप सभी को पता है कि गेट 2016 में एक न्यू टॉपिक ऐड हुआ था इन प्रोसेस कैलकुलेशन दैट इज अनस्टेडी स्टेट मास बैलेंस तो उसी के रिगार्डिंग हम एक प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट अ टैंक कंटेन्स वन थाउजेंड ऑफ ए 10% salt solution so let's have a tank initial mass is 1000 kg initial salt concentration say x not is 10% and you can also say that is 0.1 in terms of mass fraction now a fresh stream containing salt at 20% concentration enters the tank at 20 kg per minute so suppose this is the inlet stream inlet mass flow rate is 20 kg per minute and inlet concentration is 20% that is 0.2 this is also for salt and leaves the tank after complete mixing at a rate of 10 kg per minute so this is the outlet stream say outlet flow rate is 10 kg per minute that is f not and mass fraction is x for salt and since it is given that after complete mixing so it simply means throughout the reactor throughout the tank concentration will be uniform and concentration at outlet and within the tank will be same which will be x at any time so now we have to solve it so simply the simple material balance equation we have to use so you know that from general mass balance equation over salt so that will be rate of mass of salt in minus rate of mass of salt out will be equal to rate of mass of salt accumulation so rate of mass of salt in will be total mass going in that is fi into mass fraction of salt minus rate of mass of salt out that will be total mass going out that is f not into mass fraction of salt will be equal to rate of mass of accumulation salt that will be total mass of the solution into mass fraction of salt and as we know that this is it is clear that rate of inlet mass flow rate and outlet mass flow rate is different so definitely mass in the tank will change with time so m and x both are the variable with respect to time so on differentiation this equation will become m into dx over dt plus x into dm over dt is equal to fi into xi minus f not into x okay so now we have to find out m as a function of time to solve this equation so you can find it by simply doing mass balance in tank and you can do that see mass of solution in tank at any time t it will be equal to initial mass in tank plus 
mass entered in the tank mass enter in the tank till time t minus mass went out of the tank till time t so mass at in the tank at any time t say m mass initial mass in the tank say m not this mass entered in the tank will be mass flow rate in into time t minus mass went out will be mass going out into time t on putting values m not is 1000 kg that is the initial mass given mass entered is 20 kg per minute into t mass going out is 10 kg per minute so from this case you get m is equal to 1000 plus 10 times of t say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and on differentiation this equation will become 10 equation 3 in equation 2 you know that total mass in fi is 20 kg per minute total mass out f not is 10 kg per minute and mass fraction of salt in xi is 0. Point what how much mass is going in that is 0.2 so now from equation 2 1 and 3 putting all these value in this equation 2 we will get m m you have 1000 plus t dx over dt plus x into dm over dt is this 10 is equal to fi is 20 into 0.2 minus f not is 10 into x so on further rearrangement this equation will become dx over 20 into 0.2 minus 20x is equal to dt over 1000 plus 10t now we have to solve this equation and that will be the answer so to solve this equation you know that we have to integrate it so dx say and you know that it will be simple to solve this differential equation or any differential equation if the constant if the coefficient is 1 so taking 20 common in this side and 10 common at this side so this will be 20 0.2 minus x is equal to dt over 10 100 plus t or you can write it as 0.2 minus x is equal to 2 times of dt over 100 plus t and now just do a simple integration you know that at time t equal to 0 salt concentration in the tank what was that say x not and at any time t salt concentration will be say x on solving 
we will get 0 0.2 minus x over 0 0.2 minus x naught is equal to 100 over 100 plus t you can solve it that is simple that's not a big problem so in first case they ask you about the express the salt concentration as a function of time so this is you know that x naught is equal to 0.1 10 percent initial salt concentration given so from here we have x is equal to 0.2 minus 0 0.1 times of 100 over 100 plus t whole square that is the desired expression which was asked in part one now they ask you in second case what instant of time soil concentration will be 15 percent so say this is equation A solving part 2 so from equation A x is equal to 0.15 at t is equal to what so from equation A 0.15 is equal to 0.2 minus 0.1 100 over 100 plus t whole square or solving hundred over hundred plus t whole square will be equal to zero point two minus point one five over zero point one or t is equal to forty one point four two and since you know that we put the mass flow rate in terms of kg per minute so the unit of time will be minutes that's the desired answer they asked in part 2 and in part 3 they asked you what will be the salt concentration at t is equal to 1 r so using equation A which is x equal to 0.2 minus 0.1 100 over 100 plus 3 whole square here you know that floor mass flow rate was in kg per minute so t is in minutes and we have t 1 r so put t as 60 minutes so this x will be 0.2 minus 0.1 times of 100 over 100 plus 60 whole square so this x will be 0 0.1609 which comes out to be 16.09 percent so this is the desired answer yes so you can see that solving an unsteady state material balance problem is quite simple it's not as difficult as it looks you just need to read the expression carefully and you have to do some material balance the important thing was you have to find out the equation of mass in terms of time that is the important point and you have to apply the material balance equation okay so that's all hope so you understand the concept if you have any query then mail us at this mail ID. Thank you.